Welcome back, RBG family and friends. Today we are outside in the backyard garden. Today we are going to be harvesting our bok choy. As you can see, it is going to a flower and then to seed so we actually want to catch it before it does that which some of them have already done so unfortunately but i think it is still viable i have my sister here in tow she was the one that planted all of these so she is very excited to be here and hopefully help me harvest this whole bed so we are just gonna go ahead and jump onto this so hope you come along for the ride all right so what we're gonna be using to harvest this um baby choy because that's what we're calling it because unfortunately it didn't come to full head we're gonna be using these precision pruners i love these things i have millions of backups and they are amazing i don't want to pull them um, completely off the bed because i don't want to damage any of their tender leaves so what i'm going to to do is I'm just gonna go into ground level and just try as much as I can and go into the soil and just like that try to snip the roots off and it comes up just like that and there you have a perfectly pretty beautiful baby bok choy and then from here we're just gonna put it in a planter that I have sitting over there we take it into the sink and just rinse off the soil and it's ready to cook, eat, or preserve, whatever it is that my sister's gonna to wanna to do with this. Now, I went ahead and cut off some of these pre-flowers that we have here. And my sister went ahead and tasted. For my sister, what did you say it tastes like? Cabbage. My husband said <laughs> it kinda of tastes like broccoli to him, so I guess it depends on your palate. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is continue to harvest this whole bed i'm not going to go ahead and bring you guys along because it's going to be a little tedious to have you guys and see us just repetitively harvest all of these little guys um but it's going to be interesting it's going to be fun it's fun for her because it's her first time actually putting something into the soil and actually seeing fully grow and harvesting it and eat <laughs> <laughs> and yes and actually do her own um what is it your own recipe i don't know how are you going to be cooking these why don't you let us know so i usually like to fry them in uh, avocado oil and i like to put a little bit of salt and pepper you can eat it like that with rice or you can make it into a broth soup so either or oh yeah. okay so we're gonna have to see if she's probably makes this soon and sends us a picture of them so we can probably attach them either at the end or at the beginning of this video so we can have i guess uh what do we what do we call it not a good thumbnail uh, exactly. or a good thumbnail either or but but it's gonna look good it's gonna look delicious it's fine good well it's gonna be delicious for you yeah for me they're just gonna have to take your word for it <laughs> all right so let's go ahead and continue to harvest these guys and we'll meet you at the end when we're ready to wash these and show you our amazing harvest. And so after countless minutes that turned into hours of harvesting <laughs> these bok choys and cleaning them because the soil gets into their grooves, we finally have our harvest. You see it here on the table. We have a lot of them. A lot of them that I can't count. I mean, even my sister couldn't keep up with the count. We tried. <laughs> 
but it was too much. So I have three varieties here. I'm going to get up close to the seed packages here. This one is called bok choy. I can't pronounce it, so you can hear, sit, and have fun with it. This one came from Baker Creek uh, Heirloom Seeds, and it looks like this one. I think this is more like the classical, I mean, at least with that I know of, the classical one that I've seen in most of the supermarkets. And it looks really cute. Guys, like I stated already before, we harvest these guys as baby choy because they were trying to go to flower and seed. Moving on to the other one that we have here. This is a white stem variety. And this one came from M.I. Gardner. And this is Pak Choi White Stem. And this is what it looks like. The last and third variety that I or my sister planted, because these were, you know, my seeds, her doing, is also from Baker's Seed. And it is bok choy milk. And these are the three varieties that we have here. And it gave us an amazing harvest and amazing yield. So my uh, sister and we will enjoy these. As she stated, she will probably cook these in stir fries, soups, and even into juicing which is something that i've actually never heard of but she said she's tried it before i think with probably store-bought um bok choy so that'll be an interesting thing to try um so i told her to send me pictures of all her recipes that she does with them so i can use them in thumbnails and or tag them at the end of the video or even into my Instagram so stay tuned for that so yeah guys this is what we have for you today this is the first harvest from the RBG garden I hope you like it and stay tuned because there will be many more to come so as always guys please like comment and subscribe. Please share our video so that we can grow within this wonderful community. It will help our algorithm very much. And we will see you guys on our next video. We love you. Bye.